My name is Ben Deeb. I'm a science teacher in Southern California with a background in environmental science and geology. In this video, I'll show you a few geophysical classroom experiments. Now, for this, we're going to use what's called an erosion table. All you need for your erosion table is a paint roller bucket. Um, you're going to take that, fill it with some soil. I have some soil in this one here already pushed down. Um, next, you're going to need a cup with a hole in the bottom. Uh, the size of the hole should be maybe about a half a centimeter across, but you can vary the hole size. You need a little bit of water, and you need a ruler. Um, so what this is going to do is this is going to demonstrate to students how water moves downhill. Now erosion is a process where wind and water wear away at rock and they wear away at soil, um, and they always move it downhill. They move it to the lowest possible area. Um, usually, that means the oceans. So, if there is erosion on a mountain, that material will come down off of the mountain. It'll get kind of deposited into rivers and lakes and things. The rivers and the streams will carry that material away and deposit it all near the mouth of the river into the ocean. So, once you have your stream table set up, you want to make sure that all the soil is level and spread out nicely here. Um, pat it down a little bit. Don't push it down too hard. Then take a ruler, position your ruler over one end of your paint tray, and make sure you have a cup with a hole in the bottom. And center that right over the ruler so that the hole drops right down onto the top of the model. Take your cup of water and slowly pour it into the cup. You'll see water start to fall through the hole, and that will wash away a lot of the sediment here down into the bottom of the basin. Now, if you keep adding water, you'll definitely see some erosion happening. You'll see the low areas getting lower, and you'll also see some examples of deposition. That is where the soil gets washed down, um, and it will kind of fan out into the lowest areas. Um, so what we actually see kind of being created here is a valley. It's making a little river. You can see how it kind of switches back and forth, taking the path of least resistance, and it fans out into a landform called a delta. Um, where water will exit the mouth of a river. Some other good geophysical classroom experiments are the baking soda and vinegar volcano. That's where you make a paper mache volcano, put a little souffle cup full of baking soda in there, and you can pour in some vinegar with red food coloring and it will erupt. You can also demonstrate plate boundaries by moving uh, pieces of paper back and forth with soil or sediment on top of them. So there are lots of options for this, and the erosion table is just one of many classroom experiments you can do on geophysical properties.